sorry about the chair. You've got to do something about widening that door. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to give John one of the regular chairs, but, uh, but no, uh, no offence, John didn't quite fit into it. <laughs> but I, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, fine. John came to us from Adelaide today, and we booked him on the plane as... J Beast. <laughs> Mr. J Beast. Could you get that, Mr. J Beast? Mr. <laughs> now, you, you did, always Mr. Always Mr. You didn't wear this down, I take it? No, they wouldn't let me. Um, they chatted me about this. They asked me if it was trained or whether it was going to annoy anyone. But <laughs> Taos trained. He looks were, after me. You were telling me as well on the, on the plane coming over that you were fixing... Yeah, well, th this guy was talking to me and everything was rosy until I started doing my nail polish. We just get, just get a close-up of John's hands. And uh, then he didn't want to know you. Didn't talk to me anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> now, the image of, uh, again, uh, no offence, mm -hmm. <laughs> the image of heavy metal rock bands is drugs and Satanism. Orgies, human sacrifices. It's all lies. Oh, it's a relief. In our case, anyway. Now, you really were a nurse, right? I really was a nurse. How Touched... many babies did you deliver? Oh, I didn't deliver them personally. I was there for about nine or ten. <laughs> All right. Mm. And you wanted to be a psychiatric nurse as well. That was the plan before yes. rock and roll came in? Before rock and roll and uh, motor vehicle accidents. John, no offence. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you wear this stuff? Because I'd look very silly if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we are out to give people pure value for money in our performances uh, rather than go up in jeans and T-shirts and uh, just play ordinary looking guitars. We go up with the stage show, production, all the stuff. And give people value for their money. We want them to go away and think, yep, that was a good amount of money that I spent. I... The name escape is obvious. You want kids yep. to escape? Exactly. Forget about what you're doing during the day. Forget about what people are telling you to do. Believe in yourself and escape. We want you, when you come and see us, to forget about everything for an hour and a half. Did you see the show we had uh, a couple of months back? We had a lady from Perth who believes that basically all rock and rollers. It is... killed her beetroot. That's right. Isn't that what she said? <laughs> <laughs> but she said it was rock and roll was, it was worship of Satan and devil music and so on. Mm. Now we had lots, I mean, and I mean lots and lots, hundreds of letters from people who agreed with that lady. Mm. Oh, agreed? Yeah. No. Um, what she's a very, very reply? silly lady. Especially heavy, heavy metal music. Well, especially heavy metal. There, there is a lot of bands that go around and promote all this kill death and all that stuff, but they're really very juvenile. Um, they get a small amount of media coverage and their message doesn't meet very many people and generally a lot of people think they're pure prats. But what about this, I mean, playing records um, backwards. reverse backwards and getting all the hidden messages? Well, I saw something on TV about that where they were playing Mr Ed backwards, the talking horse, and they were getting hidden messages and... Uh, 